what stuck out for me was the watch se the mm -hmm. it seems to be kind of a step up from the series four um you're getting the sleep tracking you're getting a number of feature function at a price point that i think could be palatable to the market mm -hmm. 279 dollars yes this is not like your baseline Fitbit, clip it, or like, I, it's not at the hundred dollar price point, but I feel like a Bluetooth five, you can take a phone call, you can get enough battery life to last into sleep tracking. You're getting, you're getting the additional feature functionality on the watch. Um, to me, it's a it's a great buy. Um, there is a cellular version. I am not as interested in the cellular version of that, mm -hmm. but just seeing everything that's included in there, I think it's a good foray for many mm -hmm. into this space. Which the the price is what caught me. I'm like, wow. They really. The, I mean, heart rate sensor, everything that's that's baked into there. Mm -hmm. Um. Don't forget the walkie-talkies in there too. But um, <laughs> I don't know. I like you were saying. You know, you you get nervous even if even if it's just for the the I'm going to use it in case my phone goes out and this mm -hmm. is your cellular mm -hmm. backup yeah. or whatnot. Yeah, I think it's a great buy. Mm -hmm. What um, I'm really really happy with, and I'm I'm happy with my watch today. Um, but which one do you have? I'm happy about product red. So mm. I, I actually, I don't want the SE. I want the, the six and I want the, the red one, mm. which yep. I thought and, was pretty cool. They came and, out with some additional what did you colors. Say that, we lost the ceramic. What did you say that you have now? I have the series three, mm -hmm. but I have the series. This is where I'm torn. I have the series three cellular. 